really uh, proud of our guys for being able to hang in there and uh, you know, didn't play particularly well, especially in the first half. But Northeastern had a lot to do with that. And, um, and I was really uh, pleased that we were able to uh, come out with a win. This has always been a, a uh, you know, a tough place to play and, and you know, a tough place to come and get a win because Billy always has his guys so uh, in tune and prepared and, and ready to go. Uh, so we're, we're ecstatic about being able to come up here and get a W. And uh, we have a bunch of guys that, you know, okay, well, somebody's not coming, somebody's not here, all right, well, I'll step up, you know, whatever you need me to do. Uh, we did that when we've had Carl Baptiste gets injured in the first five minutes of the James Madison game. So, all right, let's step up. Uh, Devon was out for a number of games. Okay, let's step up. Well, same thing today. Uh, we have a team that, you know, they don't, they don't flinch when things aren't peachy king. Uh, they just go on to the next, the next thing, whatever is needed, whatever is necessary to get the win. Oh, it's 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 like any league in the country, like. You, you have to protect your home court, and you have to be able to win some games on the road. Uh, this league is no different. Every game, and our guys are prepared to play one, two possession games every, every night out in the league. Uh, it doesn't matter how you did in the non-conference, whether you won games, whether you lost games. or what. When you get in the conference play, there's such a familiarity that you have to be ready to go. You have to be ready to go. Uh, for 40 minutes every single night because this is a very, very, uh, it's a tough league, just like all leagues across the country. You, gotta, you have to be ready to go, and um, you know, I'm glad that we, we have them. And, uh, as Matt said, uh, you know, we've been in a lot of very close basketball games, um, you know, and, and, and to win close basketball games, I think you got to really be elite at all the little things, and we're just not there yet. Um, you know, we left some points on the table. Uh, you know, we, we were really concerned about uh, Delaware getting in transition um, and opening the game up. And I thought they did a good job of, uh, of getting the game to their favor, uh, tempo-wise, in the second half. Um, and I think that ultimately was the difference in the game. They they were able to get uh, the first half. You know, was 30 to 27 more to our like in the second half. You know, they scored 47 points in the second half. Um, we scored 40, but. You know that's the way they play, and we we struggle trying to trying to play at that tempo. Uh, I think it's the difference between having senior guards and underclassmen guards. You know, last year we had two all-conference uh, senior guards that have, you know three-year starters and have played, you know at this point in their career last year played 100 basketball games, so they've been in those spots. And, and when they were sophomores, they lost some games too. Uh, but you know it's a, it's a process, and, and um, you know every end of games are very um, critical. I think because a lot of teams in the CAA are, are very evenly matched, uh, and, and you can see today, you, you know, Sadler made some huge plays down the stretch. That's a senior guard stepping up and making plays when your need, team needs it, and it just settles everybody else down, and it gives everybody else confidence, and you know our guards will get there. It's just just got to be a process.